It's a regular eye exam for Alicia Bernal, something the 10-year-old has gotten used to by now. She's been nearsighted since at least the first grade. She started complaining that she couldn't see the board. She started squinting. That eventually led to Alicia getting glasses, which used to be rough for kids. But oh. there's so many nearsighted kids these days that she actually likes them. Glasses make you look better. Yeah. They make you look smart. But as Alicia and other children grow, their eyes grow a little longer as well, making their myopia worse, which potentially puts them at risk for eye problems even the cutest glasses can't fix. Retinal detachments, glaucoma, holes in the back of the eye. So we really want to prevent the eye from growing too much. That's what a certain type of eye drops may prevent. As part of a clinical trial at the SUNY College of Optometry, Alicia gets a drop of atropine in each eye at bedtime. It kind of stings. But not too bad? Not too bad. Like five seconds and you're done. The trial aims to enroll 400 kids nationwide with the goal of slowing the progression of myopia. Earlier studies suggest it might cut the progression by 50%, although it's not clear why. There's some theories that it affects different receptors in the back of the eye, maybe in the layers of the choroid or layers of the retina. Doctors don't know how fast Alicia's myopia would have progressed without the drops, but mom knows it's getting a little worse. This school year, um, she had to be sit on the front again because she needs to be closer to the board. And that's a dead giveaway. Now, the kids in the trial will be followed for four years. The atropine eye drops are safe with minimal side effects, especially when used at bedtime. The SUNY optometry trial is still recruiting nearsighted kids from ages 3 to 10. If you've got a nearsighted child you want to try, go to cbsnewyork.com for a link to the trial website, and they'll hook you up. So do these things have anything to do with this That's one theory. we're seeing? That's one theory is too much screen time. Another theory is not enough outdoor time. Apparently sunlight slows a progression of nearsightedness as well. In some studies, it looks like that makes a difference. Get outside. Get outside <laughs> and put that down for a while. Step away from the phone. Good advice. That's it.